So moving on, I thought it would be fun for us to build a kind of prototypical or hypothetical best disc golfer possible with the stipulation that it has to be a, a, a at least a known player. You can't just, oh, this guy back home, I, I know him, blah, blah, blah. Um, it has to be like a known player. And you can't take someone from a sponsor that is already has a player taken. So if we want to, so the, the categories that we'll have, we'll have backhand, forehand, circle one putting, circle two putting. Okay. Attitude. So kind of your mental game, but also just kind of your overall attitude plus style. So there are someone's fashion choices or their hairstyle or whatever. Um, so if say, say AJ wants to take Chris Clemens for his style, cause he likes the bandanas and the big long hair, then we can't also say we want Ricky for our circle two putts. Ooh. So you can only use a and certain. This is, this is collaborative. Like we're all figuring this out together. Yeah, I think gotcha. we. I think we can just discuss it amongst yeah, ourselves. See, it's not like I make a player versus your player or whatever. This right. Is, right. So what is the best player we can make? Right. So we've got backhand, forehand, circle one putting, circle two putting, attitude, and style. And uh, for those of you watching and listening, let us know in the Facebook group what your player would be. Who would you take for each of the different categories? Do we want to start with backhand? Or do we want to start with putting? I think it makes sense to go with either a tee shot or... Let's go putting. Or, or sorry, I'm so let's go backhand. Okay, so backhand. My thought process on this is like... I've already got somebody's name in mind. Okay, who is it? Bradley Williams. Okay, why? Because he's got some of the smoothest form and just, just buttery... I mean, he's just... It's Bradley Williams. Shot I mean, Brad. the dude is so good. Very good. It's just, yeah, I, I, that when I think of of smooth backhand, there's there's two players that do come to mind, and and Mason Ford is the other. Mm. And I think Mason kind of developed his game after Bradley. Um, I've known Bradley for years, and I just think he has such a great backhand. I guess, just yeah, so smooth. I'll throw the stipulation of like current ish player because, like, if I could, I would love to take what, like 2012 Will Shoestrick. Oh. That'd be incredible, but we'll, we'll go with current player. Yep. So Eric's got to vote for Bradley Williams. Yep. My mind immediately went to Double G. Oh. I think I think Double hmm. G is up there in terms of just elite distance, but I think the other benefit is that I probably wouldn't take him for any of the other categories, whereas... I guess Bradley Williams probably fits into the same category. Well, they're both Innova guys. Too. They're both Innova guys as well. But the hard part now comes if we take either of them, we lose Calvin. I'm fine we with can't that. Take Calvin for anything. I'd take Calvin's backhand skills. Yes, yeah, so we've got to take for Calvin. I mean, we have three Innova guys so far. We're talking about the same, the same skill set, right? So yeah, either way, we're we're winning in this division, right? In this, See, no, I, <laughs> man. Right. This I is, mean, this is tough because like I, I see so. attitude down there and I feel like Calvin would be a great one yeah. for the attitude. Calvin has a great like when he just goes into game time mode, like he's locked in and as focused as they get. But when he's not, he's hilarious and he's goofing around and he's always, you know, he doesn't seem like he, he's one of those people where if he wasn't playing well, you wouldn't know. He, he always just looks the same. He's always kind yeah. of in the same zone. And that's kind of what I aspire for my mental game to be like of just like. Very even keeled. He's just kind of always having fun, whatever. Yeah. Hmm. Danny, uh, you got a name? Someone in chat brought up Drew Gibson. Yeah, Drew for Gibson. Really which which, uh, which company sponsor does he count under? I would say Infinite. Infinite. Yeah. I would say Infinite. Oh, yeah. Drew is a great. I'm going to switch from Double G to Drew. That's kind of what I was yeah. thinking pretty good. First Drew is a too. great backhand pick. Do we want to go with that? And that kind of opens up, I mean, every other division, really, because there's really not yeah. another. So do we think Drew? Yeah, shout out sure. Skylar Hoskins. Thank okay. You. We'll so take Drew. We've got Drew Gibson for our backhand. Do we want to go with the other? F- the forehand? The forehand? I think so, if you're going off the tee still. Okay. Any I think we're going to take my forehand. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> I, I already had McCabe penciled in. Um, and then yeah, my circle right. one putt. We also get, that means we also get big flicks. Oh, yeah. Is that, how, is that yeah. how that, or? I'm not allowed to throw them during sanctioned Just events, Just one though. player skill set. Okay. There's a special rule preventing me from throwing big flicks during actual events. So who, events. who's your forehand? It's that 30 yeah. second rule. It takes, <laughs> takes Danny 33 seconds to <laughs> well, it. Well, it's because yeah. the disc hasn't landed yet. So the next person can't throw. <laughs> That's, yeah. uh, so forehand, Impressive. obviously the, the names that immediately come to mind are Big Germ, Nate Sexton, Silver, 
has a great sidearm. He does. He could yeah. be our latitude. So pick. does Albert. Albert. Albert has a great sidearm. Tristan Tanner, another latitude guy with a big. Here's side the arm. other thing. Chris Clemens has Chris a fantastic Clemens has has a, hand, but so does Rick. It, well, that and I'm thinking, like, so yeah, this is exactly. This is, there's, I would, a, there's a lot. I, don't know, I would take. Do I we want to skip Rick, I would take Rick's putting over anybody's putting. Okay, so then we'll, let's. That's where I'm at with Rick, at least. Okay, I I'm kind of in the same yeah. boat. So do we want Rick for Circle One or Circle Two putting? Oh gosh, I kind of think Circle One. I think putting? Circle One. Okay. Yeah. Are you okay with that, AJ? If we put Ricky for Circle One putts. In, rather than circle two yeah. putts, who yeah. would we take over Rick for I have, circle two? I, I, would, I have a I great name. Dickerson. I was going to say Kevin Jones. Kevin Jones yeah. as well. Either yeah. one of those jump putters are, are pretty fantastic. Dickerson's good. Yuli's got a good jump putt. Right. I'm just I, when I with those two names. I think so too. But if the 30, 33 to forty foot putt counts for all of circle two, then yes. Those, oh, but you're thinking like 50 to 60 cause those guys, Yeah, because those guys are like 80% from yeah, exactly. 33 to 40 sure. feet. Yeah. I think I think Ricky for circle two and then someone like Dickerson or or I guess Paul is Discraft too. I would take right. Paul circle one, I guess. Yeah, who, am I, who else am I thinking? I mean, shoot. Right, that's Calvin's what, circle one is pretty good. Right. Mm-hmm. Er, so is... Let's, okay, but so that's, let's, here's the thing. You guys are just talking about guys that hit putts inside the circle. Everybody who competes... Yeah. Hits putts inside the circle. So, so I think we take Rick for true. circle two. Yeah. Uh, and Ricky yeah, circle I think two? that's fine. Because okay. we could take literally anybody for any touring player. Okay. Yeah. It's well, uh, any touring player that we have left. Right. So I think we, I think now you focus on the sidearm. Can we, can you look up circle one X putting percentage so far this season and see who's sure who's, who's at the top? Sh- yes. While he's doing that. Yeah. yeah. Sidearm. Let's go back to sidearm for a minute. Okay. Back to sidearm. Cause yeah, I mean, Germ and Nate, Germinate, are the are the two like household names. We kind of are neglecting Eagle just because he's been injured for the past six months or so. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's yeah, it's it gets kind of tricky. Um, but then there's Barsby. His forehand is elite level. Well, elite level. I was just looking, and so for Circle One X putting. Tied at 88% are Paul, Ricky, and Alan Wagner. Yeah. But if you go to circle two putting, Luke Humphreys is leading at 37% and Barsby's right there at 35%. Whereas, um, let's see, Paul is at 20% and Ricky's at 22%. So someone like Barsby has a little bit of a lead over those two guys. But I also want to know. Clutch situations, I'm taking taking Rick over anybody. So then do you want Ricky for... Kind of the attitude mental game? Or That's we, what I was going to say. Do we want say. Paul for that? I, I think feel, I think Paul's pretty clutch when it comes to the mental side of the game. Right. I think yeah, statistically speaking, it Ricky has the advantage on him in terms of putts. They're tied inside the circle. Ricky has a 2% advantage in circle two. But I think if you go historically, Paul probably has more of that quote unquote clutch gene. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just know that. So, do we think Paul Rick's for, got the Raptor legs, and he wants Rick. he he want, I mean, he wants to bust them out, and you know, he's just got to clutch up and do it, right? And so, which one do you take? Knowing that the that, clutch or the circle two putts no, for that, yeah, well, <laughs> where that, the Raptor legs come out. I think the Raptor legs are they fuel the mental game. So, okay, so then I yeah I like I like Ricky true. in circle two. Do we want to put Paul for attitude? That means is, no, is attitude like no, just James. attitude or is it, is it attitudes, everything? Is so, it, is it the clutch gene or is it just how you carry yourself on the course? Because, both. Okay. See, that's why. It's well, like, then, then it's Conrad. a no brainer that it's, it it's, would be Paul. Paul. Yeah. Okay. For the clutch gene. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, if it, oh well, it's every, everything mental. Yeah. But James Conrad just, he, Won the world championship. Paul's done that five times. <laughs> I'm t- but the most recently, uh, yeah, because he threw in a shot from from two hundred and twenty two point seven feet. That's cl- that's clutch. As it, it is gets, very bro. clutch. And, and pull then, up his stats. And then, how and many then he how, walks up the hill and sure, absolutely. I'm not taking anything away from James Conrad because the man's a beast and he's he's fantastic. He's a wizard. However, he doesn't have a lot of W's on tour. Paul does. It's true. That's where the clutch gene comes in, in my opinion. That's true. You're talking about one event. Hmm. 
clutch doesn't happen at just one tournament in my mind. Okay. Well, I think it happens yeah, over a fair. career. I still, I mean, I still think James has a pretty good career going. He's also got yeah. the U S championship. He's got an James, MVP open win. James also has a very good circle two putt. This is true. Dang, this is tough. So do we want to put Conrad for forehand? I mean, it's MVP, so. <laughs> <laughs> so he's an MVP guy. So, I mean, there's. He is. Um, that'd be another. Uh, so, yeah, we left. We have forehand, circle one putt, oop. attitude, and style. Style. So is an attitude is different than mental game? At, no. Attitude, mental attitude, game. Attitude, mental, or all okay. the same. I'll switch what, that to mentality. We'll put mentality. I like that. I like that better. I, I'm still on Paul. I am too. It's going to be hard to take me off of that. I I love James' attitude. I Like, he's a bit of a, you know, rage guy when he doesn't have things go his way. You see that? But yeah. yeah. aside from that, when things are going his way, top tier. What about Simon? Simon's a good one too. For what? His attitude. He's just... See, Simon for me... For but this, this isn't... It's not attitude anymore though. Right, so I switched it to mentality, so that includes your attitude. Yes. Yeah. And the hard part for me with Simon, right. mentality-wise, is like he said, he goes into tournaments trying to like put on a show, yeah. rather than trying to win. Yeah, I'm bummed we can't. I mean, I would. I, this to Nate, me, it's Paul. Yeah, Nate Doss just keeps coming back to my mind too, with all the. But we're trying to go like all current. The, yeah, day. I know. Yeah. So I'm trying to think. Okay, yeah. who's who on tour now is m- most, you know, like. 07 to 2011, 12, Nate Doss. Who is that on tour right now? Sexton, maybe? Maybe. Mm-hmm. I, I think Paul, for me, yeah. is is that okay. is, is a pretty easy I would answer say so, for me. too, yeah. Okay, so we've got Drew for our backhand, Ricky for our circle two, and Paul for our mentality. We've got forehand, circle one putts, and style left. I think forehand would probably be the next best place to go unless anybody has. I've got a name. Yeah. I've got a name for style, but I I want. I want well, let's do it forehand. Be Joel Freeman. That's exactly what I was Thank thinking. You. Was Joel Freeman for the style? Dude's killing it. He has the loudest outfits. Man, that that. <sighs> that, that came takes, to he's also that got well. really good hair too. I don't that, know. If, that takes away a lot of really good forehand players that we've already talked about. Mm. Well, yes. Right. So do we want to do forehand first? I think so. I think forehand is more important than so style. So we pick Nico for style? <laughs> right? Forehand is I mean, a lot more important I mean, that than would be style. a pretty good pick. I, yes, I Yeah, have, it doesn't say good style. <laughs> I, no, I'm just So gosh. for forehand. He does has his own style. He he rocks it well. I See, I think forehand is okay, easy. Okay, forehand might be, yeah, we're getting. I think it's eagle. I think we go eagle's forehand. That Not may, current. Okay, because well, he can't throw, and that's what you just said. Okay, current day, but I'll, <laughs> I'll injury aside, and it can't be Barsby. It can be. Are, it could be. It could be Barsby. We don't have Barsby, another guy. Barsby knocks out all of Innova sponsored players, whereas Eagle we lose Kyle Klein and Simon and Colton Montgomery, and yeah, see there, yeah, that's Mark, that's all Bart. I can think of on that team. Um, forehand. I don't know. I still, I still go to like, I, I still think Germ or or Sexton, Joel Freeman again. Joel Freeman's yeah. got a good forehand. He too. does have a good forehand. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like, it. I mean, Sexton, Germ, and Sexton, they've got great. Like Sexton is consistent as it gets. When he when he's got when he's got the yeah when he's going to throw a forehand. It, it, the success rate is just about as high. as high as ever, anybody else. Right. Germ has Heiser flip for range touch. touch. Yes. Yes. Neither one of those guys have the distance like Eagle does. Right. Or Eagle like has, even Kyle Klein almost. Right. Sure. I would give Eagle the advantage in terms of distance, but if we were 350 feet out and I gave each of them 10 shots, I would bet on average Nate and Germ's distance to that pin would be closer than Eagles. Hmm. But if we'd said, throw this as far as you can, Eagles average distance would be farther. Gosh, it's really hard. And if you're throwing as far as you can, we've already got one of the longest throwers in the game with the backhand. Right. Right. And I think we could lock up. That's why I, that's the longest forehand. I don't know that we need the longest forehand. I'd rather have the most accurate forehand and the longest backhand personally. (sighs) As, 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 and then we take Eagle for circle one putting. Sure. Yeah, I Absolutely. think that's smart. Eagle's got a great putt. Yeah. Okay, so we'll put Eagle for putt. 
Barsby forehand. Ah, so it's basically sorry. Is that where is that where Bars- we are? It's Barsby, Brr. Germ, or and, uh, and Sexton. And I think honestly, I, I'd take Germ out of that. And I think it's for me, it's between Sexton and Barsby for forehand. Okay. I think between those two, I'm going Sexton. That's tough, right? It's so tough. Dude. Danny, what do you say? <laughs> this isn't a McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's kind of thing. This is... <laughs> I'm, I, I go Sexton. It's I think we have, we have distance already. Yep. I think go for the consistency. Ooh, I like I, it. I like right. it. I like this too because... All right. Okay. Yep. So Nate Sexton for our forehand. So all we have left is... All we have left is style. 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 I want, I want to hear your guys' arguments. And then I will let you so know. So what, what do we have left? We have Prodigy? Prodigy, MVP. I think so. Um, unsponsored. Did we dynamic? We have, We've got Ricky. Latitude. Okay. Yeah. Latitude. Westside. Matty O. Go Matty O's got some Matty O's a great pick. Matty O's got some style. Some style. Uh, who else is there? Who, who are we forgetting? Are we forgetting someone that you're thinking of? You have not mentioned the name that I'm thinking of. I mean, I said Joel Freeman a minute ago. But we can't. We just took Sexton for what about What about Mr. Kale LaVisca? That's exactly who I was thinking uh, of. Uh, <laughs> that dude's got style. Yeah, but not like the flashy in-your-face style. No. He is like, just like... Coordinated. Yes. Yeah, he's the man. He's got so like Simon. stylish style. I'll take, I'll right? take that, yeah. I'll definitely, I'll put a vote towards Kale. The two that were in my head were Matteo or Kale. Mr. Leviska. Or I guess in the chat, somebody just said Kristen. Yeah. Kristen's got some yeah cool looking polos going. Man, that's tough. Yeah, they're all, a lot of these players. Everybody has their own style. Their game, yeah. Now, you know. Right. They're, they can afford to buy, to look for their own shirts it's rather true. than. Just take the take what the allotment Crooked has logos for them, and right? Germ. I mean, I. I mean, germ. Big germ. He's got. He's got his own style. He's for got sure. his own cricket we can't machine. Take him, and well, yeah. I'm just. I'm just shouting him out because he hooks a lot of these players up with the like cool decal, like mm. shiny, logos. shiny, sparkly decals. Oh, right. on their shirts. <laughs> yeah, he does do that. And then Double G hooks him up with jerky. No, nice. what a guy. who else can I shout out? I don't know, but I'm going Kale on style. One more for Kale. What do you say, Danny? I haven't. I don't. I don't have an interac- interacted with Kale much. I'm going to go Matty O, but that's just because I don't know Kale. Okay, so that's I'm too- sure he's a very nice guy, and I'm missing out for not knowing him. But I, that's that's just the only reason I have to go with Matty O. Yeah, you need some Kale in your diet, um, <laughs> Drew Gibson. It's too bad that we already picked. Him he does, have, he does style. have style. Yeah, as well. we did already pick Holy Drew Gibson. Cow, it's so cool. Anthony, I don't know. We if we we have to pick Drew for style now. I'm sorry. I don't. Nobody think so. else is nearly that cool. So who make an argument no. for someone with better better for our backhand? I guess. Yeah, okay, I mean, cool. Know. He's cool enough. <laughs> sorry, make I keep James setting Conrad. the mic down and muting it, and then I have to unmute it. You the, o- the only a- the only backhand that would come to mind is is Gannon Burr. Consider this. I was thinking James mm. Conrad. Consider this. Yeah. Drew was cool yeah. enough that he can be both. <gasps> Or like his infinite Whoa. sponsor is for no. his backhand, no. and then his I putting think, sponsor no. is for his style. Absolutely not, because they're think, different discs. I think <laughs> I, I will take. <laughs> I'll take Drew Gibson's backhand and Kale's style all freaking day long, all day. Yeah, yeah. It's between Kale and Matteo for me. Yeah, I think Kale's the man. AJ, which yeah. way are you going, Kale? Yeah, I'll agree. I think Kale's okay. been stylish. Longer oh, before shoot. it was cool. as, as soon as I said that, it's like 2005 Worlds, Matty O. A Rogers. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like, that's stylish. That's yeah. no. <laughs> was Kale in that final nine too? Crumb. Th- I think that was old... when his cash streak started. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I know he was in a lot of final nines. <laughs> I think his Worlds. first one was that 07 in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. I was there. All right. So, All right. our Mikey Randolph was there too. Our prototypical best disc golfer currently. Is Drew Gibson's backhand form or backhand just in results? <laughs> Nate Sexton's forehand, Eagle McMahon's circle one putt, Ricky's circle two putt, Paul's mentality, and we're smooth like Kale. We got Love style. It. We got 
Everything. Dang, now dude. let's put together a really bad player. Uh, I think if you just go to PDGA and type in my name. <laughs> yeah, right. but, yeah, but whose style, though? That's true. To also mine. <laughs> just, oh, backhand, mine. Forehand, mine. Circle one putt, definitely mine. Circle two putt. Yeah, I mean, most, jam some putts. most of the time. I've seen jam some putts. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, yeah, with that attitude, yeah, I'll give you yeah, that. Yeah. Mentality. Yeah, yeah. Mentality. Gosh, definitely Mark. mine. Gosh, yeah, yeah, yeah. come on. So let us come know on, Tony. down in the, I guess, in the Facebook group who uh, who your player would be or down in the comments below. Who your players. Let us know who your, yes, what your player would look like constructed of other players. 